Welcome, welcome my viewers and my listeners to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for the time you take to listen, to watch, to practice what you learn and even sharing with other people and above all praying for me. Maybe you must be saying I don't even pray for you, Pastor Florence. That's okay, I'm reminding you because it's about reminding each other. I want to believe that God has taught you or you who know that you are there with a reason so that you can be able to be a blessing to somebody. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring inspirational word. That's day celebrating in the kitchen, putting and then um Fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday Sunday I take a break so that you and I can be able to take a break so that we can be able to go to our respective places of worship. That being said today is one of those days I bring you inspirational word and I won't believe that God will bless you. We are going to start with a word of prayer. And the title of my message will be Aquarius in our life. And I will let you know what's going on. My words of reference will be from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18. I'm going to read verse 1 to 5 in Jesus' name. Let us start with a word of prayer. Prepare your heart and I know God will bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I said pres uh, pres uh, subscribe to my channel. Remember also to know that you and I have been called so that we can serve God. Let's start with our prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your goodness and for your mercies that endured it forever. Thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. I want to thank you. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be praising to thee, dear Father. I pray that I may decrease as you increase, dear Father. I pray also for my few and my reason that this word will be an encouragement to him or her. That Lord God Almighty, he or she will be moved from one of step of glory to another. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Men. Aquilas in our life. Who are our Aquilas? Listen to this. Verse 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and went to Corinth. And he found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla. Because Claudius had commanded all the Jews to depart from Rome, and he came to them. So because he was of the same trade, not there, or I write that. I'll repeat again. So because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them and worked for, by occupation, they were tent makers, eh? And he, and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded both Jews and Greeks. When Cyrus and Timothy had come from Macedonia, Paul, compelled by the Spirit, had testified to the Jews that Jesus is the Christ. Realizing or working together with the queerest kind of people is when you walk with people who are of your same caliber, who trust you, who have the same motivation. We see Aquila had moved. There are times that we are compelled either by our job or maybe by, you know, by marital status that we move or maybe because you have a certain business assignment, you move from one place to another. It is my prayer that God will guide you to an Aquila in your life. Why are Aquilas important or who are Aquilas? Aquilas are people like we would say, even in the saying that God, that, that birds of the same feather fries together. Aquila for one by occupation, he was a tent maker. Remember, Paul was a tent maker. So even when Aquila and his wife Priscilla joined Paul in Corinth. It was so easy and smooth for them to work together. There are dangers when you walk with people or serve with people who do not have the same motivation, who do not have the same mind, because they can easily disagree with you or misunderstand you, or you may not flow very well in the spirit. And there are always things in life that I have always felt in my life, you know, personally, that I will pray that God guide me to the right person that I'll be able to walk the journey with him or her. The Aquinas kind of people in our life will carry our burdens like their own. The Aquinas in our life will cry with you when you are crying. The Aquinas in our life will not misunderstand you when you change plans because God has directed you and you know another way. The Aquinas in our life will motivate us 
There are quillers in our life who will give you the shoulder to cry on. There are quillers in your life who will be a vision carrier or motivator and encourage you. They also carry the Barnabas spirit. Not here. Paul departed from Athens and went to Corinth. When you depart from a place and go to another one, it is my prayer that God will make you land to an, uh, to, to an Aquila. Then I like this. And he found a certain Jew. May you find a certain person of your same character. May you find a person of your own character, Aquila, who will not take advantage of you or who just want to milk you. Want to misuse you. Aquilas in life will not misuse you because they are motivated like you are. Ah, when you are down, they'll tell you, you can make it, you can make it. They keep on inspiring you. Those people, many people who know me know that I'm a kind of a person who don't take a no for an answer and I'm very persistent. And so it is my prayer that you will get someone who will be of an Aquila characteristic so that you can be able to serve God where you are. If you are a married woman, when you have an Aquila characteristic in your life, there are those people who will be encouraging when you tell them, when you feel so discouraged, you tell them, I feel like I'm going to be done with this marriage. They will tell you, God is still able. They will tell you, let us hold our hands together. They are not just going to sit down and start talking. They will bring ideas that you can be able to build each other. In business, I pray that God will guide you to an Aquila personality that will be able to encourage you and tell you, even though it seems that it's, like it's hard, we are going to make it because God is on our side. Because when you don't get a person who is like an Aquila, they are going to tell you, I, these days, oh, this, that business does not work. It may not have worked for somebody else, but it will work for you. Because if it's your season, yes. An Aquila in your life will tell you, don't worry. Even when you don't have many followers as a minister, the, you know, the, uh, the quality is what matters, not more of the quantity. I know we are living in a world, the world that people want to know about numbers, uh, how many numbers, you know, uh, you know what kind of a sanctuary, how many uh, people uh, normally attend the service. But I want to tell you, the Aquila will help you. The Aquila will incite you. The Aquila will motivate you, will inspire you, will encourage you, will stand with you. I don't know why this message came, but I found myself in places. I think I'm walking with an Aquila, but all of a sudden I hear, I, I don't think that Pastor Florence is possible. But really, me, if I feel you are like that person, mm, I'm just going to walk away, but with wisdom, because I'm not going to buy the negativity. Negativity drains the strength. Negativity discourages. Negativity uh, make you, you know, I don't know, make you draw back. I sing a song and said, our sister, and she went to be with the Lord. I am a tio eko hot on it again. I am a nut. Mother, I am a tio eko hot on it again. The Aquilas in our life will help us know it is not time to give up, it is time to. To press on. Like the way Apostle Paul also said, I press on towards the goal, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my of our faith. May God direct you to an Aquila in your life. And now, the Aquila, this Aquila had a wife who was Priscilla. I want to believe that Priscilla was also an encouragement to her, her husband that they were able to work, work together as they embraced the gifting of Paul. Paul was a tent maker. Do we have a tent maker under my voice? Is there a tent maker who will not just look for people to help, but they'll be looking, Hi, can we make this tent? Can we make this happen? Or don't, not just saying, help me, help me, help me. You know, the Aquilas in our life will motivate us and we work together. You put your effort and I put my effort and we bring the efforts together and we brought them together, even in the kingdom of God. The Aquilas in our life will tell you, if you can't make it today, I will go for you, then tomorrow we'll go together. The Aquilas in our life, when you are down, they will tell you, let me hold your hand. Let us just make a step. Hey, let us just do something. May God help you. I hope this message will be an inspiration to you so that you can be able to be encouraged. Hey, and when you are encouraged, 
mihaka yaku no kwa rama kwa rama you know that a door has been opened that mirago ni rahi guka you talk prophetically you talk in an encouraging manner you talk in a way that you are not going to put somebody over in Jesus name the aquilas do not have the competition spirit the aquilas are there to encourage you as i wide up i'm going to be brief the aquilas are for, they are going to mention three things about the aquilas the aquilas have the same mind with you the aquilas will embrace your vision the aquilas will walk the journey with you the aquilas will motivate you i actually said four and above four they are not going to leave you they will not take advantage of you you know there are people they'll only be with you if they can get something from you the aquilas don't just rejoice in giving in giving or, or, or just giving out they rejoice in everything giving and receiving encouraging and walking the journey together because two are better than one it is my prayer that in the body of Christ we are going to have the aquilas who will support that ministry who will support that woman who will support that youth who will support that family who will support that leader so that we can walk the journey together. Do you have an Aquila in life? I pray that God will send one in your life. That God will make you know you are not alone because God is with you. The youth, the Gen Cs, they are facing a lot of challenges. There is a gap between the Gen C and the old. May there be an Aquila spirit. That will make the Gen, C, Gen Z, the generation we are in, listen to the older people. May we have the Aquila spirit. That will make the older generation understand the new generation, the young generation. And then we'll be able to work together. You know, every time I enter into a church, one of the, if it's new, I'm visiting for the first time. The first thing I look is the, the age group. I look, are there kids? Are there teenagers? Are there young people? Are there young developing people? Are there old people? When you see a diversity of changes, of ages, that's the right place. Because we have someone who is low, who will be lifted up, who will be mentored. We have some people, old, old people who will be giving advice to the younger ones. But if you go and you find it's just an older generation, there is a question mark there. If you go and you find it's all young generation, there is a question mark there. That is according to me. There is a mixing. And can I repeat, can I say something I always share that uh, when I went to school for, when I was in school for ministry, there are, th there is, there are things I, I learned and they have really been a motivation to me is uh, having three kind of people in life. One, a person of your same level. I thank God for the people that God have brought to my life. We are almost for, or copycat, you know, photocopies, you know. And also, so that you can be able to share the same thing, the same struggles, but they still have their quiller characteristic. That's very important. Then another person, uh, uh, somebody who is lower than you, who you can bring up mentoring. Yeah. I thank God that God has given me mentees all over. And then someone who is over you, who is above you, who you can look to. And it helps in accountability, even living a life of integrity. So may the Lord God bless you. Even as you identify an Aquila, as I pray that God will bring an Aquila in your life so that you can be able to be established and to blossom more for the glory of God. Father, I thank you for your word. It's my prayer that God Almighty shall send an Aquila in the life of my viewer and my listener, either now or in the future. I pray that those who have walked life and they don't have anybody like Aquilas and they feel discouraged, they feel like giving up, I pray that one more time, give them another chance, Lord, to find an Aquila in their life so that this journey will not be hard, so that the ministry will be easier to carry on. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. You know what? All this will happen when you realize the Lord, what the Lord can do. Uh, and by committing your life to you, to, to, to him, have you ever given your life to the Lord? If not, it's so easy. Believing in your heart, what do you believe? That Jesus is the son of God. He died and rose again and he'll come back again. You believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. If you're that person, do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I realize I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Make me a new creature. And give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. And also looking for a, 
for a home church. You don't want to be homeless. Where you can identify and be able to serve. Not just be a spectator, but be a participator too. In Jesus' name. Above all, you learn to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Because every moment counts. Every moment matters. As long as you can breathe in and breathe out, you need to thank God. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to practice what you learn. Remember to share with others. And also pray for me and the Lord will bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. And it's my prayer that you'll find an aquila in your life in this journey. In Jesus' name, thank you.